The crisis at the border, the Trump administration giving a look inside a holding center today for migrant children. Cameras were actually invited into the newest center in Carrizo Springs, Texas, where 225 teens are waiting to be placed with sponsors. It all comes after those images last week and descriptions of the squalor inside other facilities. Here's Matt Gutman. I pledge. These are the images the government now wants you to see. Migrant children, hands on hearts, reciting the Pledge of Allegiance, though at some point they may be deported. The AP allowed into a youth holding facility in Texas where unaccompanied minors sleep on bunk beds, weave, eat catered food, and play soccer on grass fields. The reason why we stood this up is, again, not to allow children to stay in Border Patrol stations any longer than they need to. Those Border Patrol stations are migrants' first stop once apprehended. Described as a ticking time bomb in an internal government report that showed dangerous overcrowding. Men cheek to jowl in chain link pens. Families stuffed dozens to a cell with a single bathroom. Faces pressed against the glass. And today, Yasmin Juarez testifying before Congress. She says her daughter, Marie, died from a viral infection after their detention. Pero estoy aquí. It is painful for me, she says, to relive this experience and remember that suffering. But I am here because the world should know what is happening to so many children in ICE detention. She's suing the government for wrongful death. David, for over six months, we've been asking Homeland Security to allow our cameras into those border patrol stations where some of the worst overcrowding has taken place. Every request has been denied. David. All right, Matt, you'll stay on it. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.